This time we're going to look at adding a still picture and applying what's called the Ken Burns effect. Ken Burns was a famous documentary movie creator, uh, director, and he was known for taking still pictures and making them appear to be a little bit more dynamic by moving the camera across the still image. So he would either pan across the image or zoom in or zoom out to give the illusion of motion. And so we're going to apply that same Ken Burns effect to a still picture of our own. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our files and we're going to look for another video that we're going to add here. So in our list of videos here, or in fact in this case it's a still picture, we're going to look for the Akatillo picture, number five. So we'll select that and we will add it to our movie. And what, where we want to put it is we want to put it just before the grasshopper. And if it didn't go there, you can, of course, remember, you can touch and hold on it and move it to the location that you want it. Once we have it here where we want it, we're going to go ahead and select it by touching it. And you'll notice down here at the bottom that there are various different actions you can take. There's the trim action, there's a speed, volume, titles, filters. Uh, we're going to want to make sure we're on actions. And you'll notice on the still picture here, it has Ken Burns enabled. It does that by default. And it kind of automatically sets up a start position and an end position. And so these two spots here, this is the start position for our Ken Burns effect, and this will be the end position for our Ken Burns effect. So right now, this is the start position, and if I click on the other button, it will show us where the end position is. So we can adjust what this, uh, the Ken Burns effect actually shows of this particular image. Notice it says pinch to position the start. That means we can also zoom in or out. So I can pinch it in or out and also use my finger to slide up or down on the image to be able to set up that Ken Burns effect. So I'm going to start my beginning position. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, zoom all the way out there and I'm going to move all the way to the top. And then I'm going to touch the end image and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and kind of scroll down towards the bottom there and I will go ahead and put it at that position. And once I've got both the start and the, the, the end, I can go back and kind of preview it and we can see what that's going to look like. And that's what the Ken Burns effect is looking like right now. If we don't like it, we can always go back and adjust those. I can change my start, change my end, and reset that Ken Burns effect. Now, if for some reason you don't want the Ken Burns effect, you can tap where it says Ken Burns enabled to Ken Burns disabled. So if you don't want that effect for a particular image, maybe it's something that has text and you want someone to have time to read it and you don't want it to move, then in that case you can disable that Ken Burns effect. So you have that option as well. By default, images stay on screen for four seconds. If we wanted to, we could, of course, also adjust the amount of time that the image remains on, sec on screen. We can go longer with a still picture than we can with a video clip. A video clip you can always shorten, uh, but you can't lengthen because there's no additional video to be had. But with a still picture, you can actually lengthen it as well as shorten it. So if you need a picture to stay on screen longer because maybe you're doing a voiceover or an explanation and you need it to be on screen longer, you can actually make that last longer with a still picture than being able to make that kind of an adjustment with a video. Okay, so in our next section, we're going to be looking at uh, adding in additional clips and we're also going to be adjusting the speed of those clips and adding uh, image overlays or video overlays on our picture, our video. So if you've ever wanted to know how to do like split screen or picture in picture, we'll be showing you how to do that in the next tutorial.